So in a 2D dynamic, I'm going to go ahead and just left click on my 2D dynamic and notice now my stock model has went away. And for the first one, we're going to just use a machining region. I want to finish this face and I'm actually going to use the 2D dynamic. So my machining region, I'm going to use my solid selection. We don't need wireframe anymore in Mastercam. And I'm going to select loop and a face. And I want to come in and just select this outside edge. Because I just want to finish this face right here. So I'm going to go ahead and green check. For my machining strategy, I'm going to say from outside. But I do need to give it some avoidance regions uh, so that we know to stay away from these two top circles. So for my avoidance region, I'm just going to come select here and here. I'll green check. If I go to preview chain, now you see the red area is the area that we want to cut. The blue region is the area the tool has to roam outside of that. And it's going to stay away from our two center bosses. I'm going to go ahead and green check. I'm going to go grab my tool. We're going to use the same half inch flat end mill. And I'm just going to put a little finish face for a note for us. For my cut parameters, uh, since this is a finish toolpath, uh, I'm going to leave my distance for my step over a little bit larger. So we'll go with 50%, so half the tool. For my stock to leave on walls, again, I'm going to leave this at 50 thousandths. And then for my stock to leave on floor, I'm going to tell it zero. I don't need to worry about any of my other settings. Again, keep things simple. And I'm going to go ahead and green check. And you can see there that we've got a nice finished toolpath that will finish all the corners for us and get that top face finished. I'm going to go ahead and save my part. And now we're going to look at what I just mentioned a minute ago about our automatic regions. We need to come in and finish the bottoms of these floors. We can select all those floors at one time. So a while ago I talked about, you know, we had to go in and select that avoidance region. And there's also air regions as well. So an air region is an area outside of, say, this pocket that now Mastercam will recognize that for us without us having to select that. So I'm going to go to my dynamic, 2D dynamic. I'm going to use my automatic regions this time. So I'm going to select automatic regions and it automatically goes to a solid and to a face selection for us. I'm going to select the floor of each one of these part or each one of these little cutouts here. And I'm going to go ahead and select the floor of this pocket. We need to finish that floor as well. Once I'm done, I'll go ahead and green check. And if I preview chains, you'll see that we're coming out side of our part for the outside steps. And we're cutting the inside part here. So I'm going to go ahead and green check here. For my tool, we're going to use the same tool. For my cut parameters, we're going to use the same step over distance that we had before and we're going to leave the stock on walls. Again guys, these toolpaths like this are roughing toolpaths. They will leave a faceted look along the wall potentially. So it's always good to come back and rerun a contour around them. For our entry motion, I'm okay with the profile. My linking parameters will need to change. So my clearance is set to two inches, retract, all absolute. For this one, for my top of stock, I'm going to go ahead and leave my top of stock just at zero. So I can just type that in as zero. For my depths on this, so that I can get to all of the floor depths on here, I'm going to change it to incremental and zero. It's going to recognize the bottom chain of that floor for me. I'm going to go ahead and green check. And you'll see that my tool is going to come in. It's going to finish the bottom of all those floors. And we'll look at verifying what we've done so far. So I'm going to go into my verify or my simulator options. Uh, and I'm going to come down and make sure that my stock model is checked now. And I'm going to use my op one rough. And I'm going to go ahead and green check. And I'm going to select option four and five. And I can select two operations 
by simply holding down my control key. I'm going to run my verify now. And I'll go ahead and run my top option. And guys, I just want to mention, um, I typically would probably not finish that floor uh, with that much material left on it. Uh, we can always, you can go in and make some changes to the opti rough and get that floor finish uh, down much closer to the bottom of those floors by using your step up values. Uh, but for this demonstration, uh, it's nice just to, you know, kind of show you the options of how things work. So that looks pretty good. Uh, we see a little bit of wall material left on here um, as well. Uh, but that's because we have left 50 thousandths on these walls. So we'll take care of that with our contour operation, which we're going to go to next.